What's up everybody? Welcome back to Diesel Creek. My name's Matt and I have got a cool video for you guys today. Look at the beauty I've got here today. I don't know the year yet, but this is a 46A serial number D8H with a 28, number 28 cable control unit on the back here. I've always wanted a D8, I've always wanted a cable machine, so I found this one cheap enough. If we can get it going here, we're gonna take it home with us. I've got it on good information, reliable information that this thing was parked here about 15 years ago and it was running when parked. A friend of mine's dad actually parked it there supposedly. So hopefully uh, everything's been covered up good. We're gonna check all our fluids. Hopefully the pony will fire up and if the pony will fire up, hopefully the big engine will fire up. I got no way to tell if it's locked up yet until we get that far. So here's the hoping. So to have any shot at all at getting this pony engine to run long enough to spin over the big engine, we're going to have to get that crusty carburetor off of there and get that thing cleaned up post haste. Luckily enough, these bolts are just coming right free. All right, I think the only thing holding that carburetor on there now is that goop that they used to seal it up. Uh -huh. What a rusty gem. I have to take this thing home, take it apart and soak it, see if we can't save it. So if you're not familiar with these big old cats, the way this works here, you don't just have a direct starter on these old engines, you actually have a smaller engine this thing right here that's a two-cylinder gas job you get that thing running and then start turning over the big engine and then uh, eventually you can get it started that way it's the same way my Lorraine shovel is and uh, plenty of other old stuff but that's where we got to start why is it making noise mm, it does that. <laughs> we got a jump pack hooked up here on the starter motor for the pony see if we can't get anything out of it It's sparking, so we got something. Jump back to charge all night. We got nothing. Rusty. Oh, we had something there. Ready? Jump out of the ground. Definitely doesn't sound real good though either. Oh yeah, just arc it out on the solenoid, that's fine. Hmm. I think we need to pull that. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to pull that starter. Recording this for Scrappy Industries. Hey man, this is you. She was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, she saw you getting the black trail the other day, I guess. <laughs> For a home brew uh, ROPS though, I actually like it. Like it's pretty stout. Yeah. A lot of times some home brew. I know, that's why I like it though. Yeah. It's like mean looking. You definitely get to plow through some trees with that. Uh, I'm sure. They did there, they patch it back. Uh, yeah, I can't. Yeah, they probably didn't have enough material. I said that's probably the length of tube they had. <laughs> Showed up on there. Yeah. Yep, come on. There we go. I hear compression. Yeah, it's going. Probably could. I love that. I love that your jump box sounds irritated as soon as you turn it on. It sends badly from my hand, I can feel it. Do we want to tear the starter apart? Let's see, it's not going back at all. Oh yeah. Put a rusty crusty in there. I've seen worse. Yes. That's pretty bad. Might have some scotch bright in there. Mm -hmm. I'll take this up. off and I'll take this flange mm -hmm. off here and I'll pull that little yeah, off. He pull mm -hmm. And uh, he put it in his roll off. He'd come to pick that thing up, he put too much in it. You. And that truck backed up. But this set of wrench is all you need. I think that might be what yeah. 
Oh, well, it's kind of designed to over speed or overrun or whatever that is called. That ratcheting. But why is it? I've never seen that though. That's weird. All the brushes were stuck in the on the motor here, so getting those freed up and working again so they make proper contact. They're not spreading very well. We Pick go. up the... Pull back a little bit more. This is way easier than four people. Yeah, it is, ain't it? I hate trying to do this by myself. Yeah. Look at that. I did it one-handed. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, after a thorough tail tailgate rebuild here, I'm uh, feeling confident in our starter's abilities here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds better than it, it did sound before. Better, yeah. It's still kind okay. of floating, but I yeah, think it's gonna arguably do better. <laughs> yeah, you gotta say, you gotta say, contact, Sam. Contact. <laughs> we don't have say any. contact. We don't have any contact. <laughs> oh. Well, the starter's still not sounding real hot. They're still over there playing with that thing, trying to re-engineer it. We're going to let AC Delco know where they screwed up on that thing by the time we're all said and done here. But the next concern here, while I'm waiting on them, is we're going to get this cover off the side of the injection pump here and make sure the fuel rack isn't stuck. Half inch, Sam. Uh huh. Pretty dry in there. Dry looking, yeah. Get some lube on that. That should the whole rack will turn, right? Yeah, this whole rack should move front and back. Go, go, go ahead and work it. See what happens. Yeah, if we put them right on the rack. Oh, there we go. I got to start moving. Spiral. Find a vice grip on the rack and have a real throttle. Right. It went forward. You might have to work the throttle or the decelerator anyhow. Put it in off there. Yeah. Off off. Okay. And then keep doing that. That did shove it backwards. Okay. So it's a full range of motion then? Yeah. So it's turning these guys, which oh, okay. as okay. that turns, there's a basically a notch on the side that's a ring up. So as it turns that, it stops where the stroke is still pushing fuel into the engine. That's how it meters how much fuel's going in there. So the governor up here is what controls where the rack is to actually control the engine speed. You're just telling the governor what RPM you want. But after they sit for a long time, this gets stuck, and that's how you can have a runaway. Watch, you're gonna try to run this. Well, we do have a moving rack now. All right, take 32. Contact. Oh, that made a different sound at the end. Let me try again. That's all buggered up. I think the teeth that were there are gone. <laughs> That's the sound. <laughs> well, we finally decided that that starter is uh, it's not going to be savable. So, buddy from Scrappy Industries there, 
he's got a caterpillar collection at home himself he's gonna go home and bum a starter off of one of his rides and hopefully we're gonna get this thing going well i don't know how long the air cleaner's been uncovered here but uh it is completely rusted out from getting full of water so we're gonna take that off of there so that we're not sucking up any junk in the event that this thing does start i've been soaking and heating these thumb screws here i wouldn't call them thumb screws just yet but they are turning there you go there. It's a literal bird's nest. Yeah, I think that the bottom pan's junk. Mm-hmm. Ain't holding no oil on that. No. Yeah. Me and my girlfriend, we are thinking about actually getting into it. Me. <laughs> you know, once you kill a deer with a bow, you'll throw your gun away. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just different. You set the tree stand, it's quiet. Yeah. Oh, there we Wait, go. On, there you go. Bottom. Unless that screw's still yeah, in there a little bit. Screw right here. All right, so I did a poor job explaining of what I'm doing here, but I took off the magneto cover, which houses the points and condenser for the pony go. motor, and underneath there I was able to uh, get a point file in there and clean up those points, because after sitting this long, uh, guarantee those points are corroded up and not going to be making contact, so we won't have any spark oh, yeah, for the pony good. motor. So Glad we got them all cleaned up, should be good to go. Hey, buddy Sam, <laughs> Scrappy Industries here. <laughs> <laughs> we got the... Uh, we got a borrowed starter with a borrowed carburetor. I wish we could just borrow the whole tractor, but uh, we're gonna see if we got some cranky now. Works good. Did you try the starter before you brought it? Or last time I used it. All right. That's not sounding promising. No, that's not sounding good either. The same thing. Let's try that borrow again. Well, I'm not saying it's right, but it's right enough for what we're doing here. We're able to. Cock the starter on an angle. One bar here. later. <laughs> yeah. And the pony oh, motor turns over. Nice waterlogged oil in there and everything. Is it really? Because the dipstick looks oh, pretty clean. Oh, there's water coming out of the carburetor now. That's good. Nice. Let's all that over a little bit. Oh, yeah. And coming out there, that's when you know oh. it's good. <laughs> we oh, have yeah. compression because it's blowing. I can't believe it's turning. <laughs> it chugged that water up out of there nicely. How is it sealed that well? I don't know. <laughs> That's impressive. All right, well, we got this thing rigged up now. Apparently, the engine was full of water and somehow is still good after it was just <laughs> negative six for, I don't know, what, three days, four days. Contact. <laughs> I'm impressed. It sounds consistent. <laughs> I don't understand any of that. It's, it's not running yet, bud. Well, but the fact that it turns is what's impressive to me. <laughs> All right, well, we filled the, uh, when it fill, we put some oil in the cylinders there since it was full of water. Try to, try to get a little bit of lubrication back into this thing. We cleaned the points, uh, plug wires are hooked up. We're gonna try and see if we got any spark. Corn deck. I see nothing. I see. Oh, hold on, hold on. We, we got our crank bar out. out. That starter still sounds yeah, a lot better than mine. Yeah. Ready? No. Yeah. Contact. People moving out? Yeah, it's going. Oh, oh that, there was spark. Yeah, I saw it. All right, moment of truth here. I think there's a slight small chance that potentially maybe sort of this thing might pop off. Let's make it happening. We got some spark, we got some wires, we got gasoline. I don't know which way is throttle up or idle. But yes. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Contact. We gotta adjust the bar. Give her the beans. Ready? Contact. Easy, bud. 
This is a very smooth switch. That's pretty stiff. Somebody should have restored that switch better. <laughs> Give that a try. That actually sounds good now. Why did it get like real slow? It was doing that before. I don't know if it's your jump pack or the starter. Contact. I almost sounded like something for a second. You want to spray some stuff in there? Yep. A little ether. Contact. I don't like that it's still dribbling water out of the yeah, carburetor. I was just saying, there's still poop coming back out of there. Does it feel like it's sucking though? Oh, it was definitely sucking. Well, well that, that, that means the valves are working. Yeah. Temp number two here. Contact. I think open choke would have been best with all the gas. Right? Yeah. Yeah! Oh. Give it a second. Likes the ether until it doesn't. I'll dump it. Throttle. And you gotta run the throttle. I'll run the throttle. I think okay. so. We don't need the choke then. We need ether in one hand, throttle in the other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's getting interesting. Ready? Yep. Contact. <laughs>
close to running right now.
guys hear that thing, that makes me a happy guy. It's running good. I didn't try any of the higher gears. I don't want to destroy Buddy's yard just yet. Seems like the steering is going to work. The right clutch seems to work better than the left clutch, but uh, I'm sure they'll both come back a little bit more once we start running it around. Buddy's been taking care of his yard, and I'm sure uh, he wouldn't appreciate me turning circles in it. So we're going to wait until we get it to my place to really play around trying to steer it a whole bunch. blade here she's seen better days if you look right down here you can see how the, the back side of the blade here is kind of bent curved up that way that's probably fine what a beast Turbo hitting the housing, I don't know about all that. Oh, is that what that noise was? I don't think it's me. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. Still spinning down, so that's not that bad. So, questionable turbo issues, but other than that, it sounds like it runs good. Not too bad for sitting for at least 15 years. Well, good news, bad news, guys. The good news is the dozer runs and it moves and it seems like it's a pretty good machine. The bad news is I gotta cut the video off here. But some more good news is that I have the rest of this video filmed and it's gonna be up on the YouTube very, very quickly following this video. I was originally gonna make it one video, but as you can see, it's getting pretty long here, so we're just gonna split it up into two and uh, you guys get a double feature out of it. So, as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a big favor. Hit that thumbs up button down below the video. It doesn't cost you guys a dime, and it really helps out the channel. If you would like to help support the channel, head on over to dieselcreek.com. Pick yourself up some sweet merchandise, some swag over there. We've got hats, t-shirts, stickers, beer koozies, the whole nine, all over at the store. Link down in the description. As always, thank you guys for watching and following along, and I will see you in part two. got to haul this thing home. <laughs>